From a tech stock spooked by spiritual opium to the meme of memes. This is the week in numbers. First up, one trillion dollars is the price tag put on the US infrastructure bill now before the Senate. It's a bipartisan measure to build or repair roads and bridges, but lawmakers spent the week struggling to reach a final deal. Almost 82% was the gain at one point on Wednesday for shares in Robinhood markets. Investors snapped up the stock after an underwhelming market debut the week before, though it gave up a big chunk of the gains on Thursday. The favorite platform of meme stock traders shows signs of becoming a meme stock itself. $60 billion was wiped off the value of Tencent at one point on Tuesday. Shares in the Chinese tech giant tumbled after a state media outlet called online gaming Spiritual Opium. That raised fears that Tencent could be the next target for China's regulators. Rich Bishop is CEO of App in China. The recent crackdown on the education sector in China and also on Chinese companies uh, listing in the US definitely makes investors nervous that there may be a similar crackdown on the video game industry here in China. 50% is the proportion of US car sales that President Joe Biden wants to be zero emission vehicles by 2030. General Motors, Ford and other automakers say they support the idea. But Greens say the non-binding target is about as likely to stick as a New Year's diet resolution. And $1.7 billion is now Rihanna's net worth, according to Forbes at least. That makes her the richest female musician in the world. Around $1.4 billion of that comes from her 50% stake in the Fenty Beauty cosmetics line. Luxury giant LVMH owns the other half. Now Forbes says only Oprah Winfrey ranks ahead of Rihanna among all female entertainers.